Are you an aspiring engineer wondering which exam is more challenging, the fundamentals of engineering or FE, or the principles and practice of engineering, the PE exam? Well, in this week's episode of Pass the FE Exam, I'll discuss a hot topic in the engineering world today. Is the civil FE exam actually harder than the PE exam? From exam formats and technical content to unique challenges and preparation strategies, I'll share everything you need to know to help you figure out where the real difficulty lies. Whether you're a student preparing for the FE exam or a seasoned pro gearing up for the PE exam, this episode is packed with insights for you. I'm your host, Anthony Fasano, and I'm excited to bring you this valuable episode of Pass the FE Exam. Let's jump right in. Before we get started, here's a word from our sponsor for today's episode, School of PE. Are you putting off preparing for licensure? Waiting for life to slow down so you have time to prep? Months from now, you could find yourself still waiting for the right time. Or you could start preparing today with School of PE. Take the guesswork out of exam prep. With 93% pass rates, expert instructors, and a pass guarantee, you'll be walking into that exam fully prepared. Make the right choice today. Enroll now and save 32% with promo code EMI32 at schoolofpe.com. That's S-C-H-O-O-L of P-E.com. The FE exam, also known as the fundamentals of engineering, is often viewed as the first big step in your professional journey. It's broad, highly theoretical, and covers a massive range of topics. Calculus, statics, ethics, fluid mechanics, you name it, it's there. It's like compressing all your undergrad engineering courses into a single exam. No wonder it can feel very overwhelming. But here's the twist. Some engineers say it's actually easier because it's more about memorization than real world application. Now enter the PE exam, the principles and practice of engineering. It's focused, in depth, and hands-on. This exam demands you apply what you've learned on the job to real engineering problems. Think complex calculations, design scenarios, and discipline specific questions. Sounds tougher, right? Well, not necessarily. Many engineers actually find the PE exam to be more manageable because of their experience. Years of working in the field helps you approach the exam with real world context. So which is harder? Well, it depends on you. Let's do a format and structure comparison between the two exams. The FE exam has 110 multiple choice questions, is six hours long, covers broad general topics, has a higher national pass rate. And the PE exam is discipline specific like civil, mechanical, electrical, etc. An eight hour exam has multiple choice and alternative item types, sometimes includes scenario based problems and has a lower pass rate. But passing rates don't tell the whole story. Sure, the PE exam has a lower pass rate, but remember, by the time you sit for it, you're typically more experienced, more focused, and even better prepared. Many engineers who've taken both exams say the PE exam felt tougher not necessarily because of the material, but because of the pressure. Think about it, you're further along in your career at that point. The stakes are higher. And let's face it, you're probably juggling work, life, and studying all at the same time. Other engineers recall the FE exam being more stressful, especially for recent graduates, because of how overwhelming the sheer volume of topics on the exam can be. It is really a mental marathon. At the end of the day, your experience your study habits and preparation strategy will determine which exam gives you more of a challenge. So how can you prepare for either exam with confidence? Understand the exam format and specification. Use official practice exams to get familiar with timing. Focus your study plan based on strengths and weaknesses. Start early and study consistently. That's a big one. Join study groups and lean on trusted resources. Do not do this alone. Get expert help where needed. In conclusion, the FE and PE exams both present unique challenges and which one is tougher can really vary depending on the individual engineer's strengths, weaknesses, 
and circumstances. The difficulty of each exam can be influenced by a wide range of factors, from the exam format to the engineer's level of experience. And the good news is we have tons of videos on past the FE exam and past the PE exam to help you with both. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems to help you pass. Pass the FE exam will publish videos on a regular basis, so please be sure to subscribe right here, click that button now, and you will get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I'll read them and I will respond to them and maybe in future videos. So if there's a specific topic that you want me to cover or a question you need answered, pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.